This is another edition of James and Mike Show without Mike. Just show you this. I remember this phone. I had this phone for a while. It has a very good camera on it for a phone. Well, maybe the phones are getting a lot better, but <coughs> pretty good camera. And the only reason I found this and all the other phones don't work, especially that Android phone. <coughs> it don't work without, you know, I put the SIM card in it and it just didn't work. And this is the only phone that will work if I put the SIM chip in and I can use the actual phone. I mean, I can use it as a camera, you know, for whatever. And it comes with this little mount too when I got the phone that's why I like it but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fool around with it <coughs> somehow maybe you know make a better stand for it what I'll do is maybe make a out oh, I got like two picks and stuff things like that maybe what I'll do is I'll spread out its little you know spread them out put on a flat surface spread them out since this moves right here it, do, it doesn't matter so it means if I make it this stiff as all right here you know mount something like that maybe may, maybe make a box around it or something where it won't move and maybe put some of those pad things on it you know on the bottom of it and that'd be great where <coughs> I can take take this little thing move it around probably and somehow mount it by on a wherever you know what I found I mean I, I knew I had this but I just forgot and now somehow the problem is I have to find the link that will go to the computer unless you know I gotta find an adapter for the card because it's not it's not a normal um, size card it's like um, not the minis I get M2 I think it is so it won't fit that adapter for the minis uh, well, I guess we just should just put this snow mode on no matter what since we're in a driveway and it's snowing on the road and stuff so that'd be great but I, I just I can't get it wet but um but it'd just be great for when it doesn't snow or something like that you know but you know, normal stuff. So basically what I'm saying, I could have this camera somewhere else. I'm cutting grass, if I'm... Um, doing whatever, even having, doing with the truck, having fun with the truck and stuff. Basically I'll have one in, one in the vehicle and one on outside. So basically the videos will improve. They'll be a lot better. And... Basically, too, if I'm doing something like this, instead of bringing a big camera all the time, I basically can have, I basically can do a travel thing. I mean, yes, I have the iPhone, but you know, the iPhone, this this camera quality is a lot better than the iPhone. I mean, I know that by a fact because <clears throat> when I did do videos on it, some of the videos you see, especially. The very very first video, that's from that. That's from that one phone, but I'm I was still fooling around with it, so I there ain't no so I'm not sure what videos are from and what videos are not. Probably whenever whatever video I said, hey, I got a new camera. Any after that, I basically did it with that phone. So you know that's how good the quality is. So. The only reason why I ever gave that phone up is because the buttons are a little messed up and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what this snowstorm's up to. That's why I decided to go now. Before it gets any worse, because we need we need some supplies. I need some supplies for mom, so. I am at Ben Franklin right now, and I'll see you then. All right, tubers, I'm back. Why his mom just wants some stuff, but uh, I got a request that's one of we, we like. We got we like requests as we always said. If you have anything to talk up, talk about, please let us know. Um, someone basically, it's a question of the month 
we haven't done that in a while. The only reason we haven't done it done that in a while because now the animated, the little animated guys that used to do it, um, you I YouTube doesn't support that program anymore. I mean, you know, you did it on YouTube and they don't support it anymore. And now it's not free, so I can't be doing that. I can't use them as of right now. If I get a job or if I, you know. Once I get my job then going, I'm thinking about paying for that. Or at least I have those animated guys where we can have the um, question a month back. We can have where's Amber now back. You know, things like that back. You know, those back. Um, <clears throat> but back to the um, requests. As I, as I put it, the requests question of the month um what is your favorite movies out there as of me i really don't go to the theaters anymore because as i don't know what what videos i said but I, I said i don't really go to the theaters anymore i it to me it it's not worth it's more it's more worth it to hear from people to hear from people what videos are good see the thrill or you know see the previews of the video of the movie and things like that well i know i want to see the new robocop i always loved robocop especially the old video and things like that you know i always loved that um I guess put the TV shows things involved too, with some of the old old um, TV shows that used to be on TV years ago. As we all know, it never ever makes it when you try to redo it. So I kind of like even with those video, those movies that come out with the old with the old. Um, Old TV shows like the new Deuce, like the Deuce of Hazard, some thing. I like those. You know, um, James Bond. I love. Um, there's some others out there I like. You, you, you know, I, I, as I said, I just go through what people say about and all that. I, that's basically it with me. I guess we'll see what Mike says. What movies he likes and things like that and basically we're putting it what's your opinion about the movie theaters are they too expensive and is it really worth it to go there now my to me almost ten dollars for a damn movie that's a little you could buy a dv for that price i mean but then again if you don't like the movie it's a waste of money so what's your opinion you know um, I'm basically at Wise right now, so I'll see you when I get out, tubers. All right, tubers, I am back from Wise. Yeah, the one vehicle I do want to test out is the um, Jeep Cherokee. Since it's back, I like the styling. It's okay, you know. And that's probably one vehicle we would have tested out before we got the Explorer, but you know what? We tested it out and we liked it. That's basically what I told my uncle. He was basically, I, I, I have this pet pee or this thing about, about um, Exuma reports. Exuma report only, it doesn't, basically don't do the whole country. It only basically goes in certain cities and it goes da da da. It, it doesn't go as the whole thing. You don't get it. I, I mean, I, don't, I know I don't get any ask me. So, as I'm saying, is the Sumer reports uh, a little iffy. You know what I mean? So, every single time someone looks, oh, Sumer report says this about a vehicle, or Sumer report says about this of you. <laughs> only time I probably ever use Sumer reports is. Well, electronics, I never had problems with Sony, so electronics is a different story. But you know what? 
like for appliances and you know certain things phones I really don't don't put it in in that in that sense you know I, I really don't I basically go by preference as of right now I do like Apple but I'm going into that limbo section about Apple I mean I like it but then I do miss my one Android I had Sumer's report like vehicles I'll look at it and I'll say, oh, okay, it has this, it has this, it has that problem, it has this problem. Okay, people say this, people say that. But what I do is, I basically, for like SUV style, basically we go after, basically my, we don't like, I don't, I, I don't go after small cars. I may, I may not, you know, as I said, I, I like SUVs, trucks, and cars. You know, if I like a fuel efficient car, I'll, I'll look at it and I'll maybe buy it. But other than that, SUVs and trucks. Um, so probably what I would do is I'm basically purebred American, purebred, all it, all out American. I don't buy Japanese cars, or any foreign car, to a point. I mean, I'll. It's to a point. Let's just play it that way. But what I'll do is I'll pick out. I'll go on there. I'll go on basically I'll pick up the Sumer's Report book or I'll pick up one of his review books, basically Sumer's Report. I'll pick it up and I'll look at it. Oh, oh okay, okay. Chrysler has one. Uh, GM, this is put GM, GM, yes, but GM, yes, but Chrysler as in general with Dodge and all that and GM the same way in general. Okay, GM has some and Ford has some. <clears throat> Right, and when then what I'll do is I'll pick them. Okay, they have this one I want, this one I like, this I this one I like, this one I this one I like. Oh, and they recommend this one. Okay, let me look at that one first, or let me yeah, let me look at that one first. See, I like it. Right. <clears throat> well, there has been cases where I don't like it. <clears throat> it's like even if I ever decide to get a full pickup. I mean, yes, say. <clears throat> It's to a point where I say, okay, my sports track will not be a working truck anymore. It will be just for whatever. <clears throat> you know, if I have the time, what I, you know, if I have the money or you know, whatever, I'm, what I'm seriously planning to do with the truck is that it will become a show truck or whatever. You know, go out for show, show it off, and you know, one of these little whatever. You know, but. Let's get back to another point. Um, so it's basically like a consumer report. If <clears throat> even if I go to a recommended vehicle, if I don't like it, I go by feel. If I drive it, I don't like it, then I won't. I won't get it. So I, I won't get it, and I'll just keep marking down my list and see which one I like. And it's always one of these things. I always like the Explorer. <clears throat> it, it's one of my favorite vehicles. I liked it from the beginning, from the box style. I won't say from now, but I'll say from, from the last model. Oh, see, I'm so rusty, I can't think of it. When did this model? When did this one? I think 2009. Don't quote me. From 2009 and older, I do like those. <clears throat> it took me a while to basically forgive Ford and see what they actually did to the Explorer. It, it, it was to a point where I didn't want to even test drive one because I basically, basically I did. I test drove every single time there was a new body style. Out for the Explorer, I test drove it. <clears throat> and when Ford took it off the body, the the um, frame, I was kind of mad. But, you know, with Journey having a lot of mileage, and it was a gift, it, it is a gift to mom. So basically, I, you know, as I said, you know, I, I got it. 
get the job and I gotta start putting the payments back into it. Mom can, I did it where mom could could afford it and all that stuff, so I didn't put a burden on her because I knew of the, you know, with trucking, if you screw up, certain companies have certain rules, you're out. So, you know, <clears throat> I didn't put a burden on her. I, I knew we needed another, we, need, we needed a third vehicle. Because as of right now, the truck is not really reliable. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. Basically, as you saw with that one, with that one video, with the James and Mike show without Mike, a bad day for a truck. Well, <clears throat> that's telling you right there that it's no issues with it. So I can go haul stuff. I can, I can do things with it. I, you know, small stuff as of right now. So I knew we needed a third vehicle, and I was looking for a vehicle that whatever. And I knew I wanted Explorer, so I thought about it. You know what, Ford made me irritated about what they did to the Explorer. But <clears throat> then again, mom, were, we were looking at, you know, we always were looking at vehicles. We knew Journey was getting old. We knew we need another vehicle. So we were looking around for a while, you know, and <clears throat> should we get a pickup? Should we not? It, it was to, and mom says, well, again, so mom says, well, your truck is not reliable. So what, why don't we just use that as a work, you know, to get stuff for for the house? I said, okay, yeah, that 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 will work, you know. You know, use the bed, you know, towing wise. Eh, with the transmission, I don't think so. But since the Explorer has the towing package, then we're probably, you know, we can we can do it with the Explorer. So. Uh, <clears throat> You know, we looked around and all that, and I said, you know what? I want to explore. Always liked them. Since they took it off the chassis, they put on an underbody. Mom's not used to um, frames. She don't like my truck because it bounces and drives like a truck, you know? She's used to underbody vehicles. She had a car. She's used to that. She's used to, she, we had a minivan. She's used to driving things like that. She got used to the journey, and now, you know, since they took it off the frame, I said, you know what? I want to explore back. We're going to look at that. So we looked at it. We liked it. And as I said, as that good, I told my uncle, yeah, you can go buy the book. Go pick out the ones you like that in the Sumer's report. Okay, pick out top. I, I, I told him, pick out a top, top three or top. I forget what I told him. Well, pick out basically the top, the top ones you like, you know? And that's basically what he did. He picked up, he basically went for two. He tried Acura, he didn't like it. Acura, whatever the Acura um, SUV, I forget which SUV Acura he looked at. But then again, he didn't like it, so he liked the Lexus. So that's what you do. You know, you go by preference. Whatever is your preference, you go by. You know what I mean? As I always say, I even told my, my I told everyone this. Like, I even told, my mom just has a thing, she won't buy used cars. But then again, I told my grandma, I told people, no car is perfect. You can buy a brand spanking new car or you go buy a used car, especially a brand spanking. You buy a brand spanking new car, you go buy a used one, but knock on wood, all of you, you know, Explorer's so good and Journey's been good to us, you know, it's just you see there. But so, as I said, you can buy a brand spanking new car or you can buy a used car. Even a brand spanking new car can have problems. You know? Nothing is perfect. Don't think you're going to buy a brand spanking new car and not going to have problems. Well, tubers, before I slip and do whatever, but um, we are home right now. So, that's basically it. I am home from Ben Franklin. I'll talk to you later. And remember, as we always said on the James and Mike Show, you have anything, any for, anything for us to talk about, please tell us. So that's it on the James and Mike Show without Mike. So talk to you later.